Well, tomorrow marks one year since Russia's invasion of Ukraine, kicking off a year of destruction, death and despair. WENY Sam Shapiro talked with Ukrainians living right here in the southern tier as the war hits the one year mark. Sam. Well, that's right, Renata and Nick. Many residents in the Twin Tiers have shown unwavering support for Ukraine over the last year, but those with family members still living in Ukraine say they need ongoing support and hope the war will come to an end. Yuri Melendevich and Teodor Chabala have spent the last year in the Twin Tiers raising awareness and support for the people of Ukraine. Both have family back in their home country and say they continue to be concerned for their loved ones' safety. They're in the western city of Lviv, which is relatively... Uh, quiet and safe. They do have to do with uh, deal with uh, air raid sirens every once in a while. Uh, it's not as bad, obviously, as the capital Kiev or even close to even what they what they're suffering in eastern Ukraine. But it's definitely been a lot harder to contact family members. So it's like they usually call or uh, get a messenger on Facebook when they have power. So it's definitely been a lot harder. Melendevich, originally from Lviv, but now lives in Horsehead, says his family and many in Ukraine have continued to endure power outages, making it hard to stay in contact and stay warm in the winter months. Because the people in the, that live in the, more in the country, you know, they, they get by a lot better. But the people that live in the cities, you're in high rises or apartments, power goes out, there's no, there's no heat, there's no water, you know what I mean? So it's tough, but they're sticking it out. Both men are continuing to raise support for Ukraine in the Twin Tiers through donations and prayers. They say that support needs to continue in hopes Ukraine can continue to fight back against Russia for its freedom. Uh, I see that there's a lot more support. It just it doesn't need to stop. People can't forget about it because if it doesn't end now, um, we will be in World War III. And Father Chabala invites residents in the Twin Tiers to pray for the people of Ukraine again this weekend. While services will begin in Johnson City tomorrow, people are, will be able to stop by St. Nicholas Church in Elmira Heights on Saturday and the Ascension Ukrainian Church in Sayre on Sunday. Renata.